Hello there, Reason users. Oh, and hello there, Windows users as well. Um, this isn't really a Reason-related video, even though I will touch on Reason just a very small amount within the video. This is actually to do with audio glitches. So if you're on Windows and you're running NVIDIA um, drivers and you're suddenly finding when you're using things like VLC or YouTube or any other kind of media player, in my case, Reason uh, using DX drivers, um, maybe every minute, five minutes, or 15 minutes, half hour, you get an audio dropout. It lasts for about a split second, but it can become totally annoying, especially if you're trying to watch a movie, it just becomes really frustrating. So I'm gonna quickly show you the, what fixed it for me on my system. So we can all have a quick laugh as everyone else is probably zoomed off to the end. It's to do with the NVIDIA drivers themselves. Hang on, let me just zoom straight in here. There we go. And it's actually to do with this HD audio driver. Um, so obviously back in January, I started getting these audio glitches. Um, as soon as I removed this HD audio driver, it's gone. Um, and I know it's about three or four months later and I'm now doing this video and it's only because I've just about to come and do an upgrade on my uh, graphics drivers. As you can see, they're a little bit out of date. Um, it reminded me, yay, that's why I turned that off. So I thought I'd do a quick video just in case it's gonna help other people. So that is basically it really in a, a nutshell, just by turning that off, sort of my issue. So my story is quite a simple one is back in January, I actually started to get this issue. The first thing I looked at was uh, window updates. I couldn't see anything in window updates. I then thought, oh, maybe it's my external um, audio device. So I swapped out some USB cables, couldn't see anything on that. Um, I then sort of scanned the forums and started having a look, especially um, at the, cause my, my hardware, it was the Steinberg UR22 audio device, and it had loads of hits to do with dropouts. It seemed like loads of people were having this issue. I thought this is weird because I've actually had this device for years and I hadn't experienced it. But one of the options down there was to do with, uh, to do with making sure that the motherboard audio is turned off. And I know for a fact, being it's real tech, I would have turned that off. But I went and checked it and sure enough, it was turned off. And I thought, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna turn it on. <laughs> Let's do the opposite and see if we can do something else with it. <clears throat> so I turned it on, but the option was called HD audio, which is obviously quite funny because obviously it's called HD audio <clears throat> within the Nvidia stuff. And my sort of started getting my brain ticking that it did. So thinking I've seen it somewhere, but okay. So I installed it and the funny thing was, I then went over to uh, my VCL and I actually set, set it, selected it. So from here, obviously you can come in and I said, hey, there's my real tech audio, I'm gonna, I'm gonna select that. And I, I played something and played it for half an hour, played it for an hour and it didn't glitch at all. And I thought, wow, this is really weird. Now, obviously what was actually happening in the background, it was actually still glitching, but what it was glitching on was your actual default um, driver. So my default driver was for my external card, which I could hear dropping out. And what was happening is every now and then, obviously this driver was trying to take control. Windows was kind of releasing it and then grabbing it back and giving it back control to your actual default um, audio device. I'd say in my case, my default audio device was still there. That was actually happening, but because I wasn't driving audio through it, I couldn't hear it. And I was driving audio through this card. Well, I could hear it, but that wasn't glitching. So that was like a bit of a weird one. But as I said, because that HD audio was making me my bells ring that I'd seen it somewhere. And the other big difference was I suddenly was saying to myself, I say, right, right, what else has changed? And of course at Christmas time, so it, it was a good few weeks prior, I bought myself a little Prezi and I bought myself a, a new um, graphics card, got myself a 4080. And so I thought, hang on a second. So this is when I actually went and looked at the drivers and this is when I discovered Yes, there is this option here on the drivers to do with um, HD audio and yeah, the penny dropped. So as soon as I removed that, my issue went. And to remove it, if you've got it installed, so obviously if you come along here and it's actually also already ticked like that, say for instance, you come in and you just untick it. It's that simple, you just untick it and just go through the install and it would actually remove it. So by removing it here, it will actually remove it of your system. And for belt and braces for this sort of thing, I'll actually probably say I would do a clean install or, an, or an do a reboot afterwards. Um, but hopefully, you know, if you've gone through all the forums and you're banging your head against the wall and you have got a, an NVIDIA card, definitely go and double check this as an option. Um, as I say, it's quite a few months ago that I, um, 
I've done this, so I know it's worked for, and I haven't had the glitches since. And the only reason I say the main reason I'm doing the video now is because I decided I needed to update my graphics card and suddenly realised, hey, so let's do a quick video. Anyway, I'm waffling, that's me. So all I can say is uh, thank you for watching and bye for now.